Boom, boom. All righty then. So our next topic at hand, speaking of Microsoft, and do that, okay. Uh, this, this is also huge. This, or it potentially could be huge. Uh, this is well. recorded off of TechCrunch com um, Microsoft could release a diskless Xbox One. This is written by Romain Dellet. According to a new report from uh, uh, Throt, Microsoft has been working on a new console in the Xbox One family. This cheaper model could play regular Xbox One games, but there won't be a Blu-ray drive. This move would lower the price of an entry-level Xbox One. An Xbox One S officially starts at $299 but you can currently find it around 250 on Amazon. The distance uh -huh. Xbox One could start at 199. If you already yep. have an Xbox One and physical games, you can imagine going to an official retailer to trade your disc for a digital download code. Let's hope that for that new Xbox uh, comes with a big hard drive for those who have a slow internet connection. Back with Microsoft, uh, back when Microsoft first unveiled the Xbox One 2013, the company wanted to make a big splash towards digital games. Oh yeah, and it kind of talks about that in the past and the backlash that came with it, but since then they've come back. Um, and I'll post the whole uh, article in chat. Um, I think this is a ballsy move from Microsoft if they go through with it, they, but at the same Not time, not super ballsy though. And I'll explain in a minute when you finish your thought. Um, so like it, it is a ballsy move in, in my opinion with this, if they, if they do this at the same time though, like with the, <laughs> nice, nice word <laughs> but if, um, with, with game pass, with other things, Microsoft has definitely became a much more consumer friendly, um, than, uh, the other two consoles really catering to to the consumers and having a way to play a game built on PC and on Xbox One and having uh, the Game Pass and having games that you would have that you have on this that you could put into the Xbox system and you would get the download code and install it into it. They're doing the right, they're doing all of the right things and cleaning up all the mess that Dom Metric left uh -huh. when he popped in. I'm talking about Phil Spencer. Um, but yeah, what, what, what do you think, uh, Greg? On, on this, all this. This is brilliant. This is another step in the right move. Or re the, sorry, this is another step in the right direction. Um, you know, you and I talked about digital versus physical sales as of late, and digital sales are, if not neck and neck with physical sales, surpassing it. Um, this is thanks to, you know, inventions like Steam and like how the Switch is, you know, uh, uh, online, or not online service, but uh, their, their, their marketplace is just jam packed with. Uh, indie games. Um, I haven't bought a physical game in a long time, Anthony. I really haven't. I, I and no joke. Since in the past three month, months, I have bought My Heroes One Justice, Black Ops Four, Red Dead Redemption Two, uh, Pokemon Let's Go, um, Super Mario Party, and like Moonlighter and a couple of indie games. Not a single one of them have been physical. Not a one of them. And I don't need to buy physical games because having the advantage of, of it being digital means that I don't have to take the step to insert the disc and switch discs and stuff like that. If I'm playing, you know, Destiny and my friend hops on and goes, let's play some Black Ops, I just switch to Black Ops. Like, it's super simple, it's super easy. That being said, I know there are people that still want the physical copies and Xbox is not, this is, is in no way, shape or form is Xbox going, we're completely getting rid of disc based consoles and we're just doing discless. No, this is now two more options on top of the two that already exist for people to buy Xbox consoles. You're going to have an Xbox one S. So, you, so let's go from top to bottom. You're going to have the Xbox one X, which is a $500 console. Then you're going to have the Xbox one X, Discless, which is going to be a four hundred dollar console. Then you have the Xbox One S, which is three hundred dollars, and then the Xbox One S Discless, which is going to be a two hundred dollar console. Do you see the price range there? That works really well. Now, also, Anthony, let me throw this at you. All right. Remember when the Xbox One had first come out, and there was the whole thing about not being able to share. Mm -hmm. Do you know about the service that exists on Xbox between game sharing? 
Are you talking about the Game Pass right now? Or something else? No. So, my friend, Monkey, who I play games with, he has a job, and he buys all of his games digitally. His friend, our friend that we play with, named uh, online named uh, Batman, he uh, is unemployed. But he loves playing the games with us. He has some odd jobs here and there, but nothing, st nothing steady. He can't afford all the games that we're playing. He can't afford Black Ops. He can't afford Red Dead. He can't afford um, Destiny. So, Monkey connected and linked his account with with the, like their accounts are now linked. So every game that Monkey buys, Hunter gets to play. Batman gets to play. In its full copy. Cool. That's game sharing. My buddy, my buddy who lives not too far from here, his son, when they bought uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, mm -hmm. you know, his son could only play it if he had the disc. And they were swapping the disc back and forth. Like he would have to run downstairs, grab the disc out of the console, run back upstairs and play it. It's not too bad for a kid because you know <laughs> it's a kid. Um, but you know. It became a pain in the ass. They buy, he buys uh, my heroes one justice digitally, no problem. Uh, but again, there are advantages and disadvantages to having physical versus digital. Mm -hmm. With all the digital games I have, I can't trade them in. Like I just can't. I can't sell them to somebody. I own them permanently now. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's okay. It's okay that I own them. Um, I, was I can play them whenever I want. Like there's, mm -hmm. I see no downside in this. Absolutely no downside. You know what's funny? I was gonna say like, wasn't this the very same thing that Phil Spencer was talking about like I E three one or two year ago? Like I feel I felt like he was talking about this idea, and at the time people kind of took that quote or took what he said and basically was comparing it to like so are we having so is the next generation of consoles going to be basically it, the, how the phone industry works well like there's a new phone every six to seven months are we going to be in that direction and he and he clarified that wasn't exactly what he meant and this is i believe what he's talking about where there are definitely different versions of the xbox but they're all essentially the same thing but just at different price ranges and yeah. alterations it's just it's just options anthony like that's what mm -hmm. that's what i love about about microsoft right now like everyone kind of gives microsoft shit for how they treat customers and all that kind of stuff yeah sure whatever they nickel and dime yeah sure whatever but at the end of the day you know you have two types of uh playstations you can get that's it and yeah. and one one's yes. the original and then you have your ps4 pro yeah that's it um and they're expensive there is no price range like, same for the Switch, but then again, it makes more sense for the Switch because it's newer, but also not to mention it's smaller. Not to mention the other option Microsoft has for the Xbox One. Um, it, at certain locations in Microsoft stores, you can actually rent a console. Uh, that's another thing you can do as well. Um, if if you're able to get to a Microsoft store, that is. Uh, if there's one that's in your in your venue or in so, your area. Are you talking about the? Uh, um, the two-year pass thing yes so you have to have a credit account first off and you have to actually apply like with a credit account through dell oh okay gotcha gotcha this is basically like you're just paying dell for two years for your console right um and uh there's there's you know it's in legalese in there but it's still like you're for the highest end thing which is two years of xbox live two years of game pass and then paying you know paying off the console mm -hmm. uh which i think it also goes with a pro controller by the way but um it's like 35 dollars a month mm. for two years yeah definitely. so yeah and and i was calculating it it's like 80 bucks less i think it's 80 bucks less than if you were to buy all that stuff outright yeah they are they are making the right moves in every other way thus far and I feel like Microsoft is setting themselves up for when the next generation of consoles arrive, that they will be on the forefront of them being in the lead or them having a much better success than this current generation. 
Um, oh, yeah. Especially with how Sony has been acting recently as well. So it definitely has been batched up to where Microsoft is definitely going to be that platform yet again. I mean, I don't know if, if you had it ready to be talked about, but did you hear that um, Microsoft wants to integrate mouse and keyboard to the, the Xbox? Yeah, they. I, I saw that they already integrated with, with um, was it War Games? Or um, I forgot what the game was called. It was War something, but um, yeah, they, they already uh, implemented that and they're planning to have that set up for other future games, which... I believe, I believe Fortnite's one of the ones next. Oh, right, Fortnite's the other one, yeah. Which, you know, quick side note, like, it's... Uh, it's another option. I personally would try to do that because I have a PC, but, you know, hey, you know... Look, man, look, man, I mean, your, your most expensive Xbox is $500, and that plays all the games that you want to play. Mm -hmm. The most expensive, or the least, the, the like the cheapest laptop you can think of, that will play those games at an okay graphic level, is like six hundred bucks. So that is a very good point. Very good point. Very good point. You, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong. I mean, I, I get, I get the whole idea of having a PC versus a console. I get it. But at the end of the day, not everyone can afford a fucking PC. Just yeah. throwing it out there. I know, so. I know. I'm just being, yeah, I'm being a little snob about it. 